Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 1, episode 9 of Sam and Cat. This time the title of the episode is... M Mama Goomer. Yes, Mama Goomer. So what, we're gonna meet Goomer's mom, I'm gonna guess, I mean. <laughs> it's very self-explanatory, -expl the title, and yet I made the question. I don't know. Anyway, so... We're gonna watch this episode. I watched the previous episode like uh, an hour ago and it was really good. I really liked it. Um, I just, I have a lot of fun watching the show and it's getting me, I feel like in the right mood to continue doing reactions, you know, in general. So that's a good thing, right? Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do this episode. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more because as long as I have your guys' support, I'm going to continue doing my reaction videos for Sam and Cat which I love. Let's be real. I love uh, uh, this show uh, so freaking much uh, because, like, granted, uh, Sam, well, kind of. Sam was kind of my favorite character on iCarly, I guess. And Kados was also one of my favorites on Victoria, so the perfect combination that I will never have thought of. But yes. Um, anyways, we're going to watch this episode. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Give it a lot of thumbs up. Like I said, hearts if you're on Patreon. Continue supporting for more. And that's it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season one, episode nine of Sam and Cat. Here we go. <laughs> Two, four. <laughs> she always forgets five, three. <laughs> I love okay. that she could just carry I'll on instead of correcting her. Dice, what's the problem? Goomer's mom is coming to visit. Oh no, cat, quick, we'd better grab our heads and scream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys want to uh, make jokes and not help me? I'll just leave then. Okay, I think that was a whole oh, point. Back, <laughs> oh, Dice. Oh, come here, you little wiener bun. Come on, Goomer, let's go. Get up. No. I'll just rest down here. I don't yeah, like I this. Tyler, don't. If he doesn't want to train, is. you know. Hey, what you doing on the floor? Uh, I'm worried about my mom coming. Oh. Yep, just trust Valentine and Puckle. Pucket. It's Pucket. <laughs> you told me it was Puckle. No, she I didn't. I said Pucket. I always <laughs> say Pucket. <laughs> She's confused. I thought it was Pickle. Who would name me Sam okay. Pickle? Mr. and Mrs. Pickle. <laughs> My foods are good. Not mine. My hamburger keeps using inappropriate language. Yeah. <laughs> she I makes don't her laugh. <laughs> she was just joking. Choking. Choking. Huh? No, no, no. Choking. Choking. <laughs> Sam is like, <laughs> I'm gonna tape this. But like, why is that helping with ch choking? Mama? Mama! Oh, Mama over here! You! Mama. Oh, you! <laughs> that is not how I pictured her. So, um, just a hunch. Did you adopt Goomer? I sure did. I always wanted an extra large baby. <laughs> So I went to the big and tall adoption agency. Oh, and that's when you found your little Goomer? No, no. My first choice was another baby boy. Aw. But they wouldn't let me have him. Why not? Uh, so Goomer was your second choice. Mm -mm. Don't say that. No, after I didn't get the baby I wanted, I just decided to get a dog. Ah. Why? Don't be but mean. But the dog ran away. Okay. Hey, can I ask you girls a favor? Sure. Mm, maybe. <laughs> I've never seen you teach a class before. Could you send me a video of him in your classroom doing his thing? I... Wait, since you're in town, why don't you just come watch him teach a class in person? A cat, 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 cat. We almost got it, cat. <sighs> My mom is gonna find out I'm not really a high school history teacher. And then she's gonna make me move back to Louisiana and work at the Crawdad Factory. Yeah, you said that. I feel so bad for him. I feel like I ruined Goomer's life. You kinda no, did. Oh, 
you've just ruined the rest of his life. <laughs> See? Peanut butter on a hot dog. I, I pe have recently tried for the first time ever a P and B P well, how is P B and J? Right? Peanut butter and jam and sandwich. Wing. Never tried it before. Did not mind the taste. It was actually it was actually good. I've never tried it. And and recently Josh made something with peanut butter. So I had peanut butter. And I had jam. So I was like, it was a perfect time. It was it was good. I don't know about the hot dog though. Some things never get fixed. Like my brother's itches. <laughs> there is can uh, there, be fixed. there is you her guys brother. Watch TV? All problems can be solved. Do you think I mean you guys already know probably, but do you think like if you like when you are watching the show for the first time, do you ever think if they were going to like like bring Kat's uh brother? Because she always mentions him, especially in Victoria's, and like, you know, and now she's living, like, we're seeing another side of her, right? That won't work. No real teacher's gonna let us take over his classroom. No real sane teacher. Oh, oh, oh! She knows a teacher! She knows a teacher! <laughs> <laughs> Psychoids! <laughs> I'm going with this in a second. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, I know. It's oh my god! We're back! We're back! We're back! Kind of bad. I mean, they're psychoids, but I'm pretty sure that those are not my children. They look like them. What does this charity do? They, they save help teachers grow hair. <laughs> my classroom is yours. <laughs> I'm so glad he was here. Oh, oh! Is your classroom. My so, classroom. So what? So they just like brought everything back together or were they filming sim simultaneously? I don't know. Maybe that, that shot of the of the kids in the hallway it's something uh that they shot previously for Victorious and they put it on here. But I'm pretty sure they redid all of this. Yeah. Uh oh, uh, guess what, children? Today we have a very special guest here to watch me teach y'all. Please welcome my mama, Ms. Murr. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was okay, expecting a bit of down. A big, big applause. Are all his classes like this? Oh, you just gonna try? Yeah. Now, on these the shrugs. Oh, that's what that's what it, the shrugs. Oh, okay, I got it. Three things I'm gonna teach y'all. Right, I went on to charityosity.com and there is no mention of a charity called the Salvation Goomers. <laughs> there should be. There should be all. What kind of a clown class is this? I should have kept the receipt. Why would you say that? <laughs> oh, Goomer. <laughs> I burned my mama's busy. What is your mama's be- I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. No one tell me. I'm taking off this headband. Poor Boomer. Yeah. I guess his mom's really gonna make him move back to Lithuania. <laughs> Lithuania. Louisiana. Same thing. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait. This could be a good thing. Yeah. I said, give me the purse. Oh, no, 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 no! Fine. Uh-oh. Oh, yes! Oh, go, Goomer! Okay. Oh, my God! You really want to go? Okay, thank you. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> and speaking of rings, I don't see one on your wedding finger. Yeah, yeah, let her, no, let her do her thing. She passed away a few years back. Oh, let's go talk about that. Maybe I can cheer you up. Oh my God, Mama okay. Goomer! <laughs> Mama Goomer has game. Oh, wait. Mama, does this mean I can stay in LA and still be a father? Whatever. 
<laughs> she still hugs her though. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that was the end of Season 1, Episode 9 of Sam and Cat. Um, and I want to say, out of all the episodes that I have watched so far, this is definitely not one of my favorites. Not because of anything that the girls did or, you know, I think it was really fun. Um, and, like, I love seeing Hollywood arts again and, like... We kind of saw, our, like, the victorious cast, but we didn't. But we got Psychowitz as well. Um, so that was good. We saw Rex for, like, a hot second as well. Um, but the thing is that I, I don't particularly like the way they treat Goomer as a character. I, 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 I have a son who has a special needs, you know? So it just roughs the the wrong way for me you know it's just kind of like you know i don't like goomer being the punching line uh, or you know f uh of uh, being the, the 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 joke um because he is a little bit slow you know um he is a really good good mma fighter he's good at that he likes it um but he is you know they have put it there that it's not he's not the brightest out there you know um but he's doing great you know he's doing following his dream and i think that you know instead of 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 making him so you know i mean there is one thing that is amazing to have uh representation you know i have watched a typical you know a typical and at first i was like I don't know if they're going to actually do things right. And like, you know, and again, it's a very su sensitive subject for me. But like, I love the show. I, it is so accurate. The things that they represented on the show for kids who have autism um, and how not all of them, you know, how not all of them are like bright geniuses and things like that. Sometimes a lot of them are non-verbal and they have struggles. And sometimes even the smaller things like getting a haircut, it's difficult for them. And it's an entire process to get it done, you know? Um, so I love that. That is good representation. Here is, this show is more of a comedy and is, you know, and... And I, I don't necessarily like the way they, they treat Goomer, you know, because it's like, I don't know, in a way I think I see my son in the character and I don't like him being the punching bag of the, you know, of the joke, you know, and, and I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't, it just like, it makes me feel a little bit weird. I mean, it's, it's cute, he's cute, but the actor, you know, at the same time, or, and, and he comes down to the to the writing you know where it's like you're forcing this character to be very you know to have special needs in certain aspects of his life and yet you're treating him like he's a joke like the things that he thinks and the things that he does which are different from the things neurotypical people do then it's supposed to be laughed at rather than laugh alongside the character, you know what I mean? So I don't necessarily, you know, it makes me a little bit like, can they not do that? And like, the mom was extremely mean on this episode. You know, she said that she wanted a baby, then she didn't got the baby she wanted, so she adopted a dog. And since the dog ran away, she got Goomer instead, you know? And like, it's just... You know, I don't think it's a really good story, you know, to tell. And it was just mean. Um, then the mom was like, um, you know, uh, um, forcing him to quit what he loves, which is terrible, you know. Um, and um, then she didn't, like, she even said, you know, I should have kept the received you know, because if she could, he she will send him back and, you know, to the adoption agency and just, like, be done with the problem that is Goomer. And, like, that just is, that's just wrong, man. That does, like, I mean, you know, 
I don't know. I didn't. I didn't like that that part. And then you know, Gumer was really excited because he showed his mom what he can truly do. Of course, he didn't do it on a ring or anything like that. But he protected his mom from these three guys that were about to rob them. Um, and the mom was like, oh, yeah, you know, but then she got sidetracked, you know, she saw a very handsome police officer and she was like all over him and didn't, she told him like, yeah, do, yeah, whatever, you know, and that I really didn't like, I did like the fact that, that, um, that Dice cares a lot about Goomer and that they are really good friends and that he cares about him more than just because he's his manager, but more so because he's his friend. And that part, do I did like the the friendship between them? You know how much he wants to help uh, Goomer out. You know and he it's not like he makes jokes about the way he acts and things like that. So I like that friendship. Maybe we should highlight that a little bit more rather than you know make make Goomer like even even the fact that Goomer the way he talks and the way he acts and like I know that there are people out there. But recognize it as, as such, you know, and, and, you know, don't let him be the joke of the show. I, I don't necessarily like that. Am I looking too much into it? Probably. And the reason is because I have a special needs kid. He has autism. So, you know, this type of suggest, it will touch me in a different, in a different way. And I will react to it in a different way. So that's the reason if you feel like I'm being too touchy, it's not like I don't understand that there could be a, a joke there. I just like, for me, it's like I'm seeing my son being, you know, uh, um, um, being mocked and like, I, I wouldn't like that, you know, so that's why. So if you're saying that, oh, maybe you're biased or maybe you are not like getting the point of this, you are absolutely right. I'm not because I have someone uh, that has uh, that is a special kid and like, you know, it will never be a joke for me, even if I'm like trying to be like, oh, <laughs> it really make it really didn't make me feel good. Um, but yeah, I mean, the girls were amazing because they were actually trying to help Goomer, you know, and I, I feel like they don't make fun of him. You know, they she they know his limits, his limitations, and, like, the things that he is good at and the things that he is not good at. And they try to help him. He, they rode carts for him. They were trying to help him during the class. They got him a class to teach just so they, ca they could, um, you know, help him so he doesn't, he, he doesn't move to Louisiana, Lithu Lithuania. No, how you pronounce it? I don't know what Kat said. Um, you know, and, and, like, that's, that's, that was fun, right? I mean, that they, and it was cute that they were helping Goomer in that way. I think it was really sweet. It was really, really sweet. Um, but yeah, you know, I, um, yeah, that part I did like, you know, that I don't feel the girls necessarily make fun of him. It's just like the, the way the character is was made it's just to be you know because even cat didn't really start it as as you know as um quirky as she is now she started a little bit and uh, like episode after episode she became a lot more um how are you saying um i don't know how to say it. i mean she was the naive one but she wasn't too naive to the point of being, you know, a, a little bit exaggerated. She didn't start it out like that. She later, as the episodes grew, she, you know, even her voice changed, you know, got a little bit of higher pitch. Um, and like, I feel like they did that with Cad, but then they took Goomer to the absolute next level. And the next level for that is, you know, for him to be, um, you know, special needed. Well, not well, adult because he's he's much of an adult in some areas. There are other areas that he is very able to take care of himself, but you know, socially he's a bit awkward. You know, he's not the smartest out there. You know, and so they took Cat's character and they take another step, and you know, they're now making fun of it, and I just don't like it. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Anyways, 
good episode-ish out of all the episodes that I have watched. I will definitely say this was not my favorite. But, you know... I mean, I still love Sam. I still love Cat. I love Dice. I love Goomer. I just want him to be treated better. Um, that's it. You know, um, but yeah, I, I did like, I, I mean, like I said, it's not, it's not my favorite episode out of the nine episodes that I have watched so far. So there's that. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys continue to support for more. If you want to talk about the episode, let me know in the comment section down below, either on Patreon or YouTube. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. If you think that I'm right, or maybe I'm being just too, you know, touchy or like, you know, being a bit reading too much into it, I would love to hear your thoughts and, you know, we can have a conversation about it. Um, anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys continue supporting for more. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Sam and Cat. What the hell? Why do I always blank at that part? It's so stupid. <laughs> I'm so sorry. For Sam and Cat, I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.